Live from Texas, it's Random Man and Donna on a country Saturday night. You know, a lot of folks stop at truck stops. Stick around. Yeah, I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. Random Man and Donna on a country Saturday night. Hello, everybody. Patricia, Marty, Linda. It's very odd to see you here tonight. Hello. Mrs. Dave. Hi, Mrs. Dave. Enjoying the peace and quiet, are you? No, I know. I remember you said you missed your gay boy. He'll be home pretty soon. Uh, Who else is here? What am I forgetting? Who did I forget? Um... Oh, yeah. Say hello, Donna. Hello, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi. When are you coming home? Soon. Soon, soon, yeah, soon. Yeah, but that's not soon enough. <laughs> All right. Did patience, I miss anybody? My dear, patience. I was surprised Linda was the first one in the house. It's very good. I thought you painted your kitchen and dining room yesterday. I was sure I saw you post that you'd done that yesterday. Did I get that wrong? I'm sure I read that in the chat yesterday. The big cabin. Is that the one with the giant Indian statue out front, Marty? I can't remember. Right there at 40 and, uh, or 44 and uh, 69. Is that right? Am I got the right place? I kind of forget where. I think that's the one. Do he painted the kitchen and the dining room today. Boy, is he going to come home to something different. <laughs> I'm in the wrong house. No, you're not. Did you see the video that Donna did? I can't even believe it. I'm going to friggin' rip her head off when she gets here. Me treating Caesar like that, putting my ugly face on his head. <laughs> and then trying to give him the bone, or take my bone. Or <laughs> I know, I was just sat giggling and giggling and giggling. I thought, what the hell have I just made? <laughs> yeah, well, the eyes were cute. They looked just like mine. <laughs> they did. What color did you paint the kitchen? What did you paint the kitchen? And the dining room. Did you paint them both the same color? And did you use uh, semi-gloss in the kitchen, at least, I hope? Never gloss, but either semi-gloss or uh, eggshell is really nice. It cleans up good in the kitchen. Flat paint. You you got Marty's name right. You actually said Marty instead of Marge. Yeah, isn't that odd? Finally, after all this time, I'm starting to get things straightened around in my friggin' worthless little head. I've got a friend called Laura. And Laura. They, and I always used to call her Laura Margarine, like Flora the Margarine. And then it ended up being called Flora. And then I ended up calling her Flora Marge. Right so, here on the Flora. You so, want some more? <laughs> so all these years I've called her Marge. I see. You want and some more? And her name's Laura. Right here on the floor. <laughs> oh, they are talking. My chat's not scrolling. Here we go again. Okay, where was I? Did Mrs. Yeah, Dave... it was Randy that stuck his head on that bod- uh, Caesar's body. He wanted to eat Caesar's bone. You leave Caesar's bone alone. Now don't look at me! I didn't create that thing. I didn't mess with his <laughs> bone. You'd be yelling at me. <laughs> I would never take another man's bone. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. <laughs> never ever. Me neither. I'll just stick with my American one. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't have that, so. <laughs> <laughs> making faces at her. <laughs> Anyways, Country Saturday Night. Got some good country tunes. Got a few uh, new trucking tunes to play. That was a couple of them right there to get us rolling, so to speak. No pun intended. Let's move along here with Waylon Jennings in Lukenbach, Texas on the RTM Radio Network. I think. Hello. Hello. Waylon. The only hey, two things in life that make it worth living. Hello, Beach Bum. What's going on, buddy? And Linda's here. Linda. We've not said hello to Linda yet. Linda who? Our Elvis. Um... I've said hello to her oh, a long we? time ago. She was oh. the first one in the chat, I said. I said that. Good evening, anyway. I didn't say hello to you. And Laura White's in the chat room. I hope she can hear us tonight. Hello, Laura. She always has issues. issues What's going on, this? Beach Bum, baby? Beach ass. You Where's got my... our cafe? Never you mind, got my hat Beach ready bum. for that wedding? <laughs> was it Kathy that wasn't feeling good today? I think Did it I see was a last night, she said she was, was that last night? Last night or not before. Mm. I think he's eating peanuts again. Mm. <laughs> you can have a stiff poo again. <laughs> <laughs> Rip your new arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's taking pics of her hair. What's wrong with it? Which one? My buddy used to pick on me like that. I'd say, let me go comb my hair before I'd leave it. He'd always say, which one? Well, anyways. Elvis is with you? Okay. Oh, Elvis snuffed it years ago. So, oh. <laughs> Don't choke on your nuts. Fuck, that one went down without uh, my cooperation. Hmm. Did you get nuts stuck in your throat? <laughs> Were they Don't cheesy, were they cheesy and smelly? Yeah. Did you sniff them? Hmm? Did you sniff the nuts? Mm. Mm-hmm. Were they a bit oofing? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Glad I'm not in Texas tonight! Hmm. I wish you were. I need a piece of ass. But anyways... Um. That's a good idea. Let, yeah, let him break his toe when he gets in. Hi, Kathy! Kathy got her. You got your hair colored, aren't you a redhead? Why would you change it? Red is hot. Oh, her color is amazing in her hair. Why? Why change it? You better be dyeing it just as red. Giggles is gonna change the furniture at home. Yeah. I bet she's doing it on purpose too. You son of a bitch, take off and leave on a cruise without me. I'll fix you. I'll break all your toes. <laughs> <laughs> you better be getting me that hat. I'm waiting for that. That's going to be my new fishing hat, and I don't even fish. I'm going to get my fishing rod lighter and sit up on the roof with my beach bum hat and pretend like I'm fishing. You'll be here by then. You can take some pictures, because I ain't going back outside. Yeah, because I am the the photographer. I'm going to ask if I can steal my cousin's camera, by the way. I need to ask her yet. You need to ask me what? I'm going to ask my cousin if I can borrow that professional camera of his. Mm. Oh, Charlotte Trotter. Hi, Charlotte. Hey, Trotter. If you're listening, can I borrow your camera? I was going to ask you in person. Probably tonight of all <laughs> nights will be the one she's listening. You ain't getting my fucking camera. <laughs> I was going to come over next week and see if I could steal it. <laughs> Go. Is that a digital camera? Yeah, it's that one, uh, it's that, one um, that I used at that other wedding when I took those other pictures. Well, I, oh, I just I didn't know if it was digital There's... or if you actually put film in it. Oh, yeah, it's digital. It's those ones I took at the uh, Fourth Rail Bridge. Remember, it was all lit up and it was all pretty. You took it with that? Yeah. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. Too bad you couldn't get in a better place to take a really fancy know, picture. It's you know, like it's up all... on the bridge. Yeah, it would have been run over by a train, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, that's not good, I don't think. Anyways, moving right along. Glad to have you guys here tonight. Random Man and Donna. Shut, Shut up! I'm not run over by a train! <laughs> right oh. out of the fucking box. Oh, I love this delay. We've been on the air fucking 15 minutes and look at you. Sometimes there's good things about being back in Derby because I get to interrupt him. And I can't ah. reach through and wring your friggin' neck. <laughs> Wasn't there a saying you had said something to me about yesterday or today? What? Wasn't wring your neck. What was it? I'm going to flip my lid. <laughs> was it that? Uh, yeah. I'm going to flip my lid. Oh my gosh, all this time I've known Randy and uh, and I was actually in here and his mum was in here and I was talking to them both and um, talking to them about spag bol, would you believe? Spaghetti bolognese. Um, bolognese. And sometimes the way Randy says, the way Randy says things, he gets me giggling and I can't. I just, and then he's like, well, what is spag bol? And I'm like, and because he can't hear me, right? He goes, yeah, she like, said she's have, she said she wanted to make a spag ball. I'm like, what the hell is that? Something I should see a doctor he says, about? Spag ball? And I'm like, yes. Is it spag ball? Spaghetti bolognese. Oh. Which I still don't know. I've heard the word bolognese. But and I then his mum was like, is. and then his mum was like, spag ball? <laughs> By this time, I just kept giggling. I couldn't stop laughing at the pair. That's okay. The day before the cruise is fine. I gotta have me one of those hats. I don't have any fancy hats anymore. All I got is trucker caps, ball caps kind no, of hats. No, you've got your cool cowboy hat. I got to get me another one of those engineer hats, those welding hats with the purple spots and the flowers and shit on them. I love those things. I think they're cool as hell. Hey, don't even worry about Randy's supply of hats, guys and girls. You should see how many hats that he has in Texas. You have no idea. He has this big, what's that thing? Antlers or something. And you've got lots of... Hat sticking off it. Oh, it's a set of deer antlers hanging on yeah. the wall. Yeah, and you know, when we first started doing the radio show, Randy had a hat of the day, would you believe? That's how many hats he had. He had a hat of the day. I even have pictures of Randy wearing his hat of the day 
And I kid you not, there are more than about 40 photos of a different hat. So you guys do not be feeling sorry for Randy about his lack of hats. He's wouldn't, worse than women with the shoes. Wouldn't want him being all whiny, huh? <laughs> all right, Kathy, we'll take a look at it. Donna, look that up, will you? What? Kathy said she posted a picture of her hair color. Oh, ooh. I want to see what that southern belle looks like with a new head. <laughs> All right, let's move along. Got a tune here for Linda. Random Man and Donna on a country Saturday night, 719. RTN Radio Network. Gavin, but that don't make them biscuit. RTM Radio. RTM Radio. RTM Radio. song for you. Random Man and Donna, I see, uh, hello Sandy, I see your name, but I don't see her name 
her name name if she posted. Yeah, name. good evening, Sunday. But I see everybody saying hello to her. Boy, I was up and foot stomping to that thing. I'm liable to beat my building into the ground. So was there. I. I was like foot stomping and Randy was foot stomping and... Yeehaw! Hey. And I was on webcam this week and Randy was literally knee deep in truckers gone wild shirts they were everywhere he took he pointed the camera around the room and oh they were just God. drying but they're everywhere. looking cool they're gonna be cool slicker snot on a doorknob for sure but between him and his dad they've done a massive massive job they've done they've done fantastic hi chris Steele. how are you wanted to say hello uh there was somebody else i missed i wanted to say hello to in case i missed you hello everybody um, I'm looking for my nail clippers, and I don't see... Throw up your to, bum on the second shelf. I wanted to squirt Third some, on the right. I'll look in a minute. I just wanted to squirt, clip some, make some yeah. fingernails fly around. Anyway, Pass them to you over the webcam. Now take them! Take them now, Fuck Caesar off, Jacks! Fuck bag. <laughs> shit kicking, that's right. That's what I was doing, too, was shit kicking. You should have seen me. I was singing along. Pounded my cabin in the ground, down and down and down. Because it's sinking over here in one corner because the ground's soft. i got to get out there and jack it back up. But I'll jack it later. i got music to play. Oh, yeah? Jacking it without me? It's called shit kick. <laughs> what else am I missing here? BB, Chris, Patricia, Kathy, Linda, Cindy, Giggles, Randy, and Donna. Hi, Laura. Maybe it was Laura I forgot to say hello to. But hello, Laura. Ah, yeah. Nice to have you here with Random Man and Donna on the Beach OTM arse. Radio. Hello. It's great being able to interrupt you. 5,000 miles away causes a huge delay. I love it! Shut up! She's so kissable. Huggable. Yes! Kissable, huggable, lovable, diamond Rio. Good tunage, man. Chris, I'm looking up that tune. Can you, uh, if you get me a link, a YouTube link, I can play that puppy in no, no time at all if you, uh, Find that for me. How about some Keith Whitley and some sexy country music, huh? Playing today's country hits and yesterday's favorites, commercial free. Random Man and Donna Nedrys on RTM Radio. It's the first time for you, so here's what you do. Unzip me and strip me and show me you care. Don't go ripping out my cubic hair. Reach for my breath, for my blood, and my cup. You can do it with ease. Just get on your knees. Start licking and stepping like it would have fun. Soon you'll be tasting spun. Do it right now, and I tell right now, drag your tongue across my knees. If you give me head, there's no need to spread. Why now you should know a blowjob can't be beat. Faster now, deeper now, into your throat. The secret is not to choke. Take my shaft by its face, stuff the whole thing in your face. That's how you suck on my car. Oh, Ethel, come on, baby. It's Christmas. Can Daddy have a little bit? Well, get it out, then. Get it out now. Oh, come on, Ethel. Do it now. Ho, ho, ho. Move over, Rover. Let Santa take over. Oh, oh Santa, my, my, my. You make my dick swell as I moan and yell. Heed the warning when I scream. Though your throat is sore, you have to open more. Gasp me last breath before I shoot my cream. Slurp it up, lick it up, don't ever stop. Swallow every last drop. Now that you eat my meat, I'll never have to beat my meat. Thanks for stroking your mind. Thanks for licking your mind. Thanks for sucking my cock. Anybody got a copy out there? Bring one down. How about that beach bum? You got a copy? Come in. We're live, ladies and gentlemen. The holly jolly Christmas with Random Man and Donna. That brings back memories of watching Rudolph. 
used to love that when I was a kid. Watched it every year, never missed it. It was like the thing to sit in front of the TV and watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Fred Astaire. Uh, what was he in? Frosty the Snowman? Was that where he drove the little mail car around? And uh, uh, Burl Ives was the snowman in... Uh... We're walking in the earth. No? No. What the hell cartoon was Burl Ives in? He was the snowman and he was... Oh, that was Rudolph. That's right. He was telling, oh, put his umbrella up. Oh, let me know when it's over. You didn't know we could speak German, did you? Wait till you hear this. enough of that slow stuff around the man let's party it's christmas Point. Kevin Fowler, pound sign on the RTM radio network with Randy and Donna on a Friday night, of course, 756. Don't you dare put paint thinner on that dog. Paint thinner is not safe for dogs. It'll burn their skin. What is the matter with you, son? Stay in the truck. You're safer there. Hot water and some dish soap and rub it between your fingers, the hairs between your fingers. You know, if it's not real bad, it'll wash right out, really. If it's matted in there and all thick and nasty, yeah, rub it between your fingers and break it all apart. It'll wash out. And if you got a crab comb for like when you had crabs when you was a teenager, um, get that comb and comb that out. No, seriously, a comb. Start combing it, brushing it, whatever's not going to pull the hair real hard. As long as a dog enjoys the water. I mean, if he's one of those and ones that's going to fight from, you, it'll just it come from, off on the furniture eventually. Yeah, and comb it from the ends of the hair, you know, don't right from the back because you'll just... 
pull the hair out. Yeah, it'll just wash out with hot water and some dish soap. Yeah. Put turpentine on your dog. <laughs> Put some paint thinner in his lunch, Ethel. That's like that cat of yours, Ethel. I'm going to feed it some paint thinner. Never mind that. A, a dog called Tigger, does he think he's a cat? Yeah, that's a little weird, too, but, you know, that's people, I, you know, I like people that do their own thing that are a little different. I used to have a cat called Donut, so I can't say anything. And it was a cool name until you were at the vet, and the vet would shout, Donut! No. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody looks up, yeah? What? Which now, that actually is a good idea, BB, is just cut it off if it's that bad. Just nip it down below the paint. It'll come back. Not a big deal. Just going to have to live with the scars for a little while. Unbelievable. Why don't you put the cat out next time? Lock him in a bedroom. Put him in a box. Ship him overseas. Send him with Dave. Here's an idea. Well, Take your pussy I'll with you. Like Dave. Yeah, well... Human babies don't, you know, they go to bed and get put in their crib when you're painting. What are you trying to say, Marty? Some of us didn't get crabs. Come on. I, know I never better. got crabs. Till I met you. Oh, but you're fucking... You didn't get anything from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, flea bag. <laughs> her royal doucheness has spoken. <laughs> what, give her crabs or brush the paint out of her hair? <laughs> Don Beach Bum said, can we do that to Donna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can brush the crabs out of her hair. Yeah. I had to get Randy to chop some of my hair off a couple of weeks ago because I had a big knot in it. I don't know what the fuck I'd got in it. But, yeah, sometimes you have to do that with me too. Who are you calling a goof? I know that. Uh, did I say cat? No, I was talking about her dog. <laughs> it was funny to name a dog Tigger. A cat, maybe. Because Tigger's a wonderful thing. <laughs> the wonderful thing about tickets. Tickers a wonderful thing. Oh. <laughs> Cause right. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. My youngest got a hold of a slow poke sucker and she couldn't let go. <laughs> Is it glued to her hand? <laughs> that trips me out when shit like that happens. Okay, what is a slow poke, s slow poke sucker? It's that has to be something you can, sexual. You can lick on it for about a year and it never goes away. <laughs> Wish I could grow one of those. <laughs> It'd be permanently stuck to your knob. But it's great for while I'm not here. <laughs> I was thinking more of something you could lick on for about a year, but never mind. <laughs> the name fits. I need to see a picture of Tigger and the paint. Yeah, get a picture. That's awesome. Good Do idea. it now, Giggles. Do it now. All right, let's move along here. Got a, uh, got a, got that. Uh, we found that Christmas song in Germany. It was so... spunk in my hair, Cindy. Oh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? Oh, you slipped. <laughs> oh, you haven't heard the erection song, Beach Bum? Hang on a minute. Let me play this German tune, and we'll play that for you. It's not a country song, but we'll stick it in here just for you, buddy. Hang right on. Here's Don and Randy Beach singing Bum. in German. Beach Bum wants to know the song about the about your erection. I just fucking oh. answered him. What the hell are you All fucking right. listening to over there? <laughs> I'm not Another listening. Another radio show? I'm not listening. Jesus fucking Christ almighty, I swear to God. It's a taffy like sucker. Oh, shut up. Please. Can I just do this little bit right here without your interruption? Hi, Rhonda. I said hello to Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> oh, just watching Randy through the webcam. Why don't you watch this? <laughs> I love winding him up. He's missing me, aren't you, Randy? <laughs> oh, yes. My hands just miss your fucking throat. <laughs> Donna and Randy singing Silent Night in German on the RTM Radio Network.
I can't get one of those. You've, uh, you've been nipped. What? What's that mean? Nip. Anything like nip and tuck? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, man. That's just not right. Random man, Donna and Caesar, walking with an erection. I stuck the words on there for you guys because I know how much you're going to love that song. And there's a video for it, too, now, by the way. Yeah, we was working on the video today. Guten Tag. <laughs> Und du sprechen die Deutsche, Kathy? Nein. Nein? Really? She's trying. Nein. No, don't shame. Anyways, um, now, 807, it's time for Earl Pitts. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me sing? I just want a French kiss, E.J.'s electric pencil sharpener. It's all these green with envy, wide load housewives that look down on your more well-built roads. Yeah, like the other night, that it don't get better in this beer commercial comes on the tube. You know where that Swedish bikini team's out there in the Rockies or somewhere. Right off. Pearl starts whining and squawking about how these blondes is dressed to look cheap, and they just there to trigger male hormones, and how they severe lack of clothing ain't very practical for the harsh outdoors. 
She said she's seen them real female hiker tops on the National Geographic, and they always wear long pants, jackets, boots, and gloves, not bikinis and high heels. So I give it to her straight. I said, Pearl, fact is, them sexy babes ain't sleazy at all. They just useful, kind of like a fine-tuned Swiss Army knife. Them sweet things ain't got no extra baggage. Everything's in its place and has a purpose, too. Like, let's say I get lost in the middle of God's green wilderness, and I'm cold, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. Well, who better to have along with me than one of them chicks from them beer commercials? Because, first off, I'm sure she could keep me warm and help bring out my animal instincts a bit. Better yet, they always toting a six-pack with them. You know she'd got a spare cigarette squeezed down between that cleavage. But what about food? Well, no problem. See, so I'd just strip them fish net stockings off her, and I'd drift net catch me a few fish in the stream. Or I could use your spike hill to crack open a coconut. Wake up, America! <laughs> And I won't be lost for long, I'll tell you right now. Them big earrings and them red-hot lips flashing in the sun. So that would signal airplanes overhead. And I'd be rescued in no time. Whether I wanted to or not. I'm our old pizza American pizza. Gee, Brent, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee, the Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. The Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spiced. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the kin will have begun by the end of the show. The heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brits. The Yankee and the Brits. Their ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove their radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Other stations say they play today's country. Well, you can put your boots in the oven, but that don't make them biscuit. RTM Radio. RTM Radio. The man behind the wheel. Hello, Hello Cass. Cass. How are you, Cass? Hello. Oh, uh, don't cry, honey. We know you're there. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Shall we sing We We Wish You? Ready? Three, what two, we one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Uh, <laughs> moving right along. Anyway, where the hell oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. I'm Randa Man and Donna Natrix and the RTM Radio Network. <laughs> and remember, there'll be nothing for you, whore. <laughs> Merry Christmas from the RTM Radio Network. And remember, this year, you'll get something in your sock. And you'll like it. <laughs> I'll have a big Christmas without you. Just thinking all about you. Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree won't be the same, dear, if you're Snowflakes start with falling. That's the wind, those blue memories. 
This is Mike from Wildcat Radio. This is Dave the Ray from the Razor Blade Express. This is Samo. And Julie. And Jenna. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. To Random Man, Donna Natrice, and all the RTM listeners. Soon. You're a mean one, Donna Natrix. You really like to squeeze. You're as cuddly as a pram. You're as charming as a twat. Donna Matrix. You're a bad Brit with a... A greasy black hole. You're a monster. Donna Matrix. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of snakes. You have bullshit in your soul, Donna Matrix. I wouldn't touch you with a 5,000 mile pole. You're a foul one, Donna Matrix. And you're coming to the U.S. You're going to Nevada, then why come to Texas State, Donna Matrix? Given a choice between the two states, I think you should go to Maine. You're a foul one, Donna Matrix. You're a nasty, wasty bridge. Your heart is full of bullshit and your soul is full of gunk, Donna Matrix. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote... Stink, stank, stunk. You're a blighter, Donna Matrix. You're the queen of sinful twads. Your heart's a dead tomato splotched with moldy purple spots, Donna Matrix. Your soul is an appalling dump heap overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of deplorable rubbish imaginable, mangled up, Entangled up knots. You nauseate me, Donna Matrix. With a nauseous super knots. You're a crooked little flea bag and you drive a crooked deer, Donna Matrix. You're a three decker sauerkraut and crumpet sandwich. With arsenic sauce. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the RTM Radio Network. Ho, 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 ho. And you, I saw your Facebook status. Ho, ho. You're getting clothes in a Bible. Ho, 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 ho. Widowmaker, Widowmaker, were the words so bright and big. Painted cross a bumper. Of a shiny rig. <laughs> Merry Christmas from RTM Radio, Random Man, and Donna Matrix. <laughs> Me. 
Christmas list, but it'll be Randy, honey. I want a yacht, and really, that's not a lot. I've been an angel all、oh、year, Randy, baby, and hurry down my chimney tonight. Randy, cutie, there's one thing that I really do need: the deed to a platinum mine, Randy, baby. Randy, baby, I'm filling my stocking with duplex and checks. Sign your X on the line, Randy, baby, and hurry down the chimney tonight. Come and trim my Christmas tree with some decorations bought at Tiffany's. Table under the tree for me. I've been an awful good boy, you see. So don't a baby hurry down my chimney tonight. I don't a baby an outer space convertible too light blue. I wait up just for you, dear. So don't a baby hurry down my chimney tonight. And don't be late. Think of all the fun I've missed, and think of all the fellas that I've kissed. And next year I could be oh so good if you check off my Christmas list. Boopy doop doo. A don't honey, I want a yacht, and that's really not a lot. I've been an angel all year, so don't a baby hurry down my chimney tonight. A don't a cutie, but there's one thing I do need: the deed to a platinum mine. A don't a cutie, hurry down my chimney tonight. Come on now, hurry up. I don't a baby. I'm filling my stockings with a duplex and checks. Sign your X on the line, don't a baby. Hurry down my chimney tonight. Come with me and trim my tree with some decorations that I bought at Tiffany's. I really do believe in you. Let's see if you believe. In me, boopy doopy doo dee. A donna baby forgot to mention one little thing. A ring, I don't mean on the phone. A donna baby, hurry down the chimney tonight. I hurry down the chimney tonight. I hurry down me chimney tonight. Merry Christmas. And happy new year to Donna Natrix and Randy. Random man and Donna on the RGM Radio, Radio Network. Network. Hi, Shawnee. How you doing, kid?、Ah. Doing all right. 
Good, good. Yeah, Donna asked a question. What's yeah, for dinner? Yeah, I want to know what you guys have for, for dinner on Christmas Day. Yes, I'm back in sin bin. I mean sin bin. Sin bin? <laughs> <laughs> My Christmas Day is mostly about looking forward to Doctor Who being on. And you know what? This year, I'm going to break my own tradition because me and Randy, we started watching Doctor Who over here from the start of the uh, 11th Doctor, I think it is, with Matt Smith. And uh, I've, I've seen quite a few of the Matt Smith ones, but I've watched them all from the start with Matt Smith with Randy, which means that I've missed a lot of them so far with the latest Doctor. So I'm going to wait till I get back over this pond and seeing Randy, and I am going to watch, continue watching Doctor Who, and we're going to watch that cross Christmas Doctor Who, because they're like truly, truly magical episodes. I just love a Christmas Doctor Who. I was just reading Chris Steele's little post there. She says, hey, Grandpa, what's for supper? Deep fried turkey, green beans, bacon and Swiss cheese, homemade bread, candied yams, cheesy taters, and chocolate pudding pies. Yum, yum. <laughs> That's what that reminded me of was some hee haw. That sounds like some tasty shit right there. Mm -mm -mm. Fried turkey. Oh my gosh. I've, you guys have such funny things for Christmas Day. I, I'm used to a, like, a big roast dinner with like potatoes and vegetables and some pigs in blankets, you know. And I don't mean your cabbage <laughs> ones. I mean, I mean your little tiny cocktail sausages with bacon. Oh, well done bacon with some well done sausages. Oh, you know where you see the eggs. you know where you see that the end of the sausages are well done and some bacon wrapped around it. Oh, baby, Yorkshire puddings and stuffing because I love a good stuffing, cranberry sauce, <laughs> roast potatoes. Nothing for you, oh. poor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deviled my eggs. Afternoon. My mom makes some awesome deviled eggs. She man. does. I'll give her that much, I was man. I was here for uh, for Thanksgiving. And uh, she made us some deviled eggs. Ooh. And, buddy pies. And Look about, at all this grub. Come on, bring it. Beach bum's out there eating a rotten old chicken sammy. <laughs> chicken sandwich. Blah, blah, blah. I can't, I can't be doing with frying. Frying stuff, though. Going to a friend's and being waited on with a turkey dinner. That's my boy right there. Go let somebody else do the dirty shit. And just have some fun. Turkey ham roast homemade rolls. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh. Oh, what do you food. have for Christmas dinner, uh, Danny Dyke? Ooh, tater salad. You gotta use Miracle Whip and mustard. None of that mayonnaise shit. Miracle Whip. That's the way to do it. Were you talking to Dan, was it? Yeah, I was just, I was just wondering, you know, Danny Dyke is from, like, is from this, the exact same place as me, maybe a couple of streets away. You know, we, we grew up in the same place. Um, but... You know, I've I've not actually known him all these years. You so can I just count wondered, on it, Chris. I just wondered, what does Danny Deitch have for a Christmas dinner? What do you Deitches have for your dinner? Does He's it probably make... probably going over to Mom's house and are going to have firefighters <laughs> 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 or naked car wash Na guys. Yeah, naked car wash guys. <laughs> Was she serious? Really got. Those guys dressed like that at the car wash over there? I think so. I think she's being serious. At this about time it. of year? Ain't it kind of chilly over there? Well, today? I'm sure she said this time they were dressed because it's not quite so warm. I was going to say, when it's cold, man, your nuts shrivel up and disappear. I wouldn't be such a pretty sight. They'd all look like eunuchs or something. Oh. Chris, did you see Chris's comment? I'm sure Rand will be more than happy to stuff you when you get back. That's why I, I said. Believe, she's a dirty devil. That's why I, can't I believe said. she's even thinking of such. That's why I said you can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, BB. What's the matter with you? You don't like some good country cooking? That shit sounds mighty fine to me. Well, Andy, let's go over to Aunt B's and you can eat Helen and I'm going to have me a taste of Aunt B. Andy! Come and get it, big boy! <laughs> you sent me a request, Pat? I've not had a request off you, I don't think. But I've been so busy, I've not really been keeping up with everything. If it's gone through to my inbox, I don't know. I've not been keeping up with anything lately. The truck driver in you. Bring it out. Nothing like a good hand to keep things exciting. Back there on Party Row, Tenvo. All right. Well, let's see. What do we got here? We've still got an hour left. Just a little under an hour, actually. But still, a lot of time left. 
Hell, I gotta scrape up some more Christmas tunage. I'm about out over here. Well, anyways, Saturday Country Night, Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. It is 9.07, just doing what we do. BB, I see a frying pan in your future. Ooh, yeah, right across the friggin' forehead. He don't like pinto beans either? What is the matter with that boy? What, is he a friggin' city boy or what? We're gonna have to do something about that. I'd get him on the ship and stuff him full of grits. Does he eat grits? Oh, I had grits that day when we went to... I won't eat them. When we went to Grandma's. <laughs> grits for breakfast. Listen to this. You Brits will find this weird. They actually... I asked for breakfast and they bought me out some eggs and toast and they bought me out gravy. I mean, where the fucking hell would have put gravy on toast or eggs? <gasps> weird. And some grits. Strange, strange, strange stuff going over, going on over that pond. Linda, are you from Maine or something? Oyster stew, really? Oh, God, that's slimy stuff. That's terrible. But whatever triggers your tripper, I guess that's all right. No, I'm not, I'm not keen on that cornbread. We had some of those at Grandma's, didn't we? Beans cornbread. and cornbread, baby. Cornbread. Yum, yum. Now, there's a hillbilly girl for you. Randy. I has... bet you pot around the house barefooted, don't you? Randy has cornbread in milk. Oh, my God, cornbread and milk, it's like a gift from the heavens. Hell, yeah. He's a meat and potato guy, though. Me, too, man. I love my pot roast. and I love me. I, I went over to milk. Mom's and stole one of her crock pots, and I'm fixing to do me a pot roast and some taters and carrots and oh. peas and beans and put it on all day long, and that shit will just melt in your mouth. Hello. Oh, you know what you're going to have to do, then, when I come back? You're going to have to uh, make me a pot roast. Oh, you'll love it. When I come back. You'll love it, especially in the crock pot. Go out and pick me up from the airport, come back here, and it'll all be nice and warm. He only gets to... it once a year. It makes me sick to make it. That stuff's nasty. Oyster. Blah. But I do love my lobster. Ooh, I love my lobster. And a big old tub of butter, melted butter, about probably six or seven sticks worth over there. Oh. I know, Kathy. Cornbread and milk, baby. See, there's a country gal for you. She knows it's what's going on. He sat and in front of me, and I was... I was uh, well, Randy knows what my stomach's like. I'm a little bit too cringy with a few things. You think? <laughs> you can have all the oyster stew you want, Patricia. Help yourself. There's plenty of it. Go to Maine. Go over on the coast. Massachusetts. It's it's it's. You you know, the last, of it. you know the last. the last meal that I made here. I was. Uh, we had some fresh beef, all diced up, and I was. And I kept having to run outside because it was just the look of it was. She cannot my stand. Stomach. She cannot stand to look at or touch raw meat. Oh, it's. Oh, garlic and butter. Oh. oh, yeah, man. My husband's mom used to make oyster stew for Christmas Eve. Ah, what's the matter with you people? I never heard of such a thing. Yeah, good old turkey dinner. Now you're talking there, Dan. That's the way to go. Yum, yum, yum. Turkey for Thanksgiving, turkey for Christmas, and I don't want to see that shit again for another 12 months. Oh, and what about, I, I had uh, I had some uh, macaroni cheese one, one year at Christmas on, on my Christmas dinner. Um, oh, it was just gorgeous. Oh, Absolutely buttermilk. Amazing. Oh, my God. I know people that drink that shit straight. What is the matter with those people? Oh, man. Fresh clam chowder from Yarmouth, Mass. Christmas yeah, man. Dinner. I know the oh, area, but I would never eat no clam chowder either. I had that once, and I told her to get out. What did Chip Chap Becky send me that day? She sent me a picture of what she has for Christmas dinner, and it just looked like a pile of slop or sick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it? remember. I'm going to have to look at the picture now. Cabbage will give you the farts, buddy, big time. Whew, man. Ah, but it keeps you regular. I'm t it keeps you regular, <laughs> all right. That's like the Hershey squirts in green. Pissing through the eye of a needle. Cabbage. My God, is that nasty. Them friggin' pigs in a blanket thing we always argue about. Oh, my God, not a chance. I love it. I love cabbage. I could eat. I could eat cabbage. In fact, oh, most vegetables are. My now that's something I haven't made this year. Was eggnog. I gotta make some. I forget Do how to make now. it now. Ah, shut up, Ethel. Make some now. <laughs> I forget how you make it. Your eggs, milk, some nutmeg. What the hell else goes in that? I can't remember. Make me swoon. Does anybody remember how to make homemade eggnog like that? Milk. Eggs, nutmeg, and some vanilla, right? Isn't that it? And stir it up? Or do you heat it? I don't remember. It's been so long. That's why Randy used to be silent when you were in Texas. Uh, nothing silent about him. 
Yeah, Dan, cauliflower cheese. My God, oh, what's the matter with you people? Amazing. It's gross. I had the best cauliflower cheese, in, actually, in Turkey. It cinnamon in nutmeg? I don't remember that. I remember nutmeg. I mean, cinnamon in... Oh, maybe it is cinnamon. I don't know. I'll have to ask Mom. It's been so long since I made that, and I actually would enjoy a glass of that. Google it. I know. Google's the key. That's how I find out. You know, everything. cinnamon's in so many things in America compared to in the UK. I didn't even know what it tasted She's like out until West I got Texas to America. Now. What? The, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> funny, oh, funny. Hard, hard, hard. Yeah, you're so funny. I made it funny. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know I'm she talking about the, 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 the ginger looking stuff that sometimes people put in not chocolate. I see. Good night, Laura. Be Good safe. Night. Good night, hon. Green bean casserole. Now that's good. I like that kind of stuff. Tuna casserole, eh, maybe, maybe not. Depends on my mood and what my nose thinks of it. If it's made right, it's not too bad. Other than that, though, uh, no. So, moving right along, now that you guys made me friggin' hungry. Oh, do you know what, I, do you know what I'm going to be making over the next bacon? few days? I've been making bacon, baby. And <laughs> I'm going to make some toad in the hole. Because, you know, over in America, you know, they didn't have many sausage links. And I was just gagging for some toad in the hole. So I'm going to make some tomorrow. I went to the shop today and got myself some sausages, some big chunky sausages. And I'm going to make some toad in the hole. I got your big chunky sausage uh, nom, right here. Nom, nom. And some gravy and some mint sauce. You know, I could not find a jar of mint sauce in America either. <gasps> oh, bourbon in my eggnog. Yum, yum. Oh, nothing better than going to a party where the eggnog spiked. You know what I'm saying? Mashed taters. You can't have a dinner without mashed potatoes. It don't oh, matter what it is. Oh, baby. I live on mashed potatoes. Oh, and potato skins. You got me addicted to potato skins one day. They're freaking awesome. You, though, uh, aren't they? you, made, you made some back at your old place. And, and you uh, can make them so many different ways. And you just got me addicted to them. Potatoes wrapped in tinfoil, chuck them in the fire, man, leave them there. Oh, that's an awesome way to go, too. Whole cranberry sauce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we're talking real meals. All my years of growing up, we went to grandparents' house on Christmas Eve. Then, not so much. Then, what we did on Christmas Eve 12 years ago was epic. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> Woohoo! Making babies. No, only Hopefully, I'll be, I'll be here by next Christmas, and uh, I'll be able to make Randy a British Christmas dinner, and I'll bring a jar of mint sauce with me. Yeah, baby. Yum, now that's yum, going... Yum. See, Kathy wants to get stuffed, too. Beach bum, you hurry up and get home. I like a good stuffing. Yeah. How many times have I heard that? I don't make it like Randy makes his, though. I like to, uh, I like to make mine, put a little knob of butter in it, and uh, stir it up. A little knob of a butter? A little knob of butter in it, stir it up, and just leave it to just get, leave it to just, uh, leave it on the side. And then I, I uh, roll it into some little stuffing balls. You know the ones I'm talking about, Danny Deitch? Make it in some stuffing balls and stuff them in the oven and let them go nice and um, nice and uh, crispy. Mm. Oh, baby. No rhubarb pie. Grandma used to make that stuff. I could so bitter. Oh, I couldn't stand that. She couldn't put enough sugar in that shit for me. Yeah, dinner at my house next year. Donna's cooking. There you go. <laughs> and uh, Kathy had said homemade turkey gravy. Mom makes it that way. The grease, a little flour and whatever out of the turkey juice. Oh. Shit me. I tell you one thing about Randy. The way to his heart is through his stomach. Small portions, though. I don't eat like I used to, but boy, I like to eat a little bit of everything. That's the nice thing about Christmas or Thanksgiving. I get a little bit of everything. Some candied yams, some candied crotch, some, uh, you know. What's Hages? Haggis. Haggis. What the hell is that? Is that my sister? Sheep stomach. I don't have a sister oh yeah oh my god i'd never put it near my mouth my uncle likes to eat bull tongue at christmas well he did i think he's too old now but i mean not that that causes anything with his age but i mean i don't think he does that anymore but he used to brag about that all the time pumpkin pie cherry pie apple and banana banana cream pie oh one of my favorite things to swing through my favorite truck stop over there on uh uh what the hell's that snow uh snow snow something over there in pennsylvania on 80 snow uh what the hell's that place called up there on top of the mountain? But I used to stop in there and get banana cream pie and a hot cup of coffee. Catch me a Chris, few winks and down the other side. Chris, I can't stand fruit cake either. It's one I, li I like uh, like a like a vanilla sponge cake or something with uh, with like currants or raisins in. But 
you know, you know, you get those Christmas cakes with all like the fruit peelings in and the spices and all that shit. <laughs> I can't stand all that. Rocky Mountain oysters, get away from me! I can't stand fruit cake. If you've probably seen the jokes over the years about fruit cake, make them use them for a lot of things: door stops, boat anchors. <laughs> you know, you know, when I got here, Randy's mum said to me, "What kind of pie do you like?" You know, like a common conversation over here, and I was like. Pie? Snowshoe, know. that's it. Thanks, Laura. I replied and said, steak pie. And, she was, and I think your mum was expecting me to say some kind of fruit pie. She says, what kind of pie do you like? And I said, steak pie. And I think she was expecting me to say fruit pie. Is that all you guys eat over here? <laughs> over there, sorry, should I say. Whatever, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. She doesn't know what meat pie is. Oh, well, yeah, she tried it. You made that one before. What, a month before you left, you made that first meat pie you were here? Yeah, and then I made and you... And we took some over to them. Yeah, you And they liked it. it. That wasn't actually pie, though. That was... It was not pie with pastry. It was shepherd's pie. Um, and then I made you a chicken one, and then I made you some lasagna. <laughs> Linda still has fruitcake from 2000. <laughs> Look at Dan. He wants some spotted dick. Oh, and Christmas pudding. Do you have Christmas pudding over here? Nah, not really. You know, if I anybody makes any pudding, it. it's fucking Jello brand out of a box. Put it in some milk and stir it up and stick it in the fridge. Oh, I can't stand Christmas pudding again. It's that fruit thing and all the stuff. Figgy pudding, figgy pudding. I would like to have some of that. That's pretty good, actually. I got your figgy pudding. Yeah, wash it first. <laughs> what is spotted dick? I forget what that is. It's like a suet kind of sponge. Um, and it's got, uh, it's got like raisins, it's either raisins or currants. You know, I can never tell the difference between those. I love them both, but I don't know which, which one's which. But anyway, it's, it's like a nice suet spongy pudding and you can have it with custard, um, or a bit of ice cream or some, or a nice, some, some nice pouring cream. Shawnee made a good point. Americans go to the liquor store at Christmas. <laughs> they do too. Freaking drunken assholes. Oh, unbelievable. Million dollar pie. Never had that one. I never met a girl that had a million dollars. Anyway, see, Shawnee likes spotted dick. I like chicken pie and steak pie. I'm not really keen on the uh, fruit pies. You know, a lot of the fruit pies that... Uh, and, and, and another thing, you know, when I come over to Texas, um, I went to... Uh, we went to IHOP, was it? IHOP? And we had pancakes, and I asked for strawberries on pancakes, and you should have seen all the syrup that come with the strawberries. And that's the same shit that I don't like in pies. I don't like all that syrup, that, that's fruity syrup that they put in pies. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I don't eat many fruit pies. But over here... Yeah, you know, bread pudding is good. Fruit pies is just the rage. See, Kathy's a southern gal. She knows all about all that shit. Oh, bread and butter pudding. Don't get me started on that stuff. I can remember eating that when I was a very small child and I, I was sick. I can't even stand the thought of eating it. Hope Donna doesn't mind if I share a quick story about a girl I spent a weekend with, but I was in Georgia, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just a lot of trucking stories. Um, I spent the weekend in Georgia, and I went to this truck stop, and they had a, uh, a boot scooting place across the street. I went over there and met this other driver. We walked over there, and uh, these two sisters were sitting there. I ended up dancing with the one all night, then went to her house that night, spent the night. Got up in the morning. She made food. I never seen so much fucking food in my life. I mean, she I made. I remember you telling me about. She this. made everything that you could make. I mean, she made cornbread. She made potatoes. She made grits. She made hash browns and eggs and bacon and biscuits and oh my god, the list was friggin' endless. I felt like a king when I woke up in the morning. <laughs> she didn't feel so good. She said she was sore, but we had a good time. I'll say that much about it. Sweet potato pie. I love my candied yams, baby. Those things are awesome. Now then, I had those when we went to your mum's, and I wasn't keen on those. I'm not keen on a lot of... Ugh. What, candy jams? Yeah. Oh, those things are awesome. I don't know if I've ever tried sweet potato pie. It's got to be good with whipped cream on it, I would have to say. I don't think I've ever had any. If I have, I don't remember. And my Aunt June, West Virginia, when we used to go there and we were kids, oh, could she cook up some stuff? And I still, one of my favorite smells is the smell of a gas stove. That's from her house. Oh, my stars. What cooking? You guys are I'm ready to... Ah. All right, let's go. I'm out of here. You guys have a good night. I'm going to get some dinner somewhere. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't, I w I'm going to have to 
head out, see if I can find something in the middle of the night just to eat. I'm telling you, this is killing me, man. Starting. What's this? Don't send Mark to the store for a turkey because for two people he buys a 25 pounder. Yeah, but you put that in the freezer, you can have that shit over and over. Pop does that. He's still got turkey in the freezer from Thanksgiving. Pecan pie. I don't do pecans. Don't care for that stuff. They're kind of bitter to me. Well, anyways, let's go back and play a tune or two. We got about a half hour left to kill. Let's do a David Lee Murphy, Murphy, some dust on the bottle on the RTM Radio Network. Merry Christmas, everyone, from the RTM Radio Network and Rand the Man and Donna Matrix. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not the creature was stirred, but not even the mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nick and the soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in the beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in a kerchief and I and my cat had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn near Rosa Jakarta, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. A little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his course as they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in the twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and the pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with the bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with asses and soot. A bundle of toes he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll needle mouth was drawn up in a bow, and the beard of his chin, it was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad little face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a rag jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me the no, I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings. And he turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew. Not the down of a thistle. I heard him exclaim as he rode out of sight, "Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night, and to all a good night, and to all a good night." Mili Kilakamaka. Did I say that right? I forget. It's been a long time since I heard that. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from me, random man. I'm me. You could fucking tell them who you are. You know, they don't know who you are. Well, if they don't know who I am by now, <laughs> I'm not going to tell them. Merry Feliz... Christmas from this gobby bitch over here. Feliz Navidad, everyone. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, Merry Christmas in Spanglish. All right, here's one for Beach Bum. I hope he's still listening. I see he was getting ready to leave, but he asked for this a couple weeks ago. Here it is, buddy. White Crash Christmas. White Trash Christmas. Shit. <laughs> Donna on the RPM Radio Network. Luck Leeches with her. I yeah, can't even read that. Said. That's so friggin' blurred together, I can't even see that. Don't know that much German. But yeah, yeah, das ist gut, yeah? Okay. Um, where are we at here? But oh, 11 minutes left. We be going like a cool breeze. You guys have a great Christmas. I'll say that much for you. Bueno, bueno. Yes, it's muy bueno. Muchas gracias, señorita. Señor. Señorita y señor. Probably señor. No? Señorita. No, señor. Yeah? I believe so. Remember I told you the difference between señorita and señora. Oh, one's married, one's not. Si. Sí. 
Bueno. Ah, I think she's married, so. Oh, that's what I said, señora. No señorita. Ah. Mamacita. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's do a couple more tunes here. It should real be quick called Mrs. Eater, shouldn't it? Yeah. Man and Donna. About On six the RPM minutes left. Radio Network. One more tune for you from the two of us for Christmas, and we'll be back to say goodbye. Got to go away. But it's, it's cold, cold outside. outside. This evening has been my my so nicely so nice. I can't see your pains. There's no sky. My mother will start to worry. Beautiful. What your my father will be pacing the floor. Just listen to that fireplace roar. So really, I'd better scurry. Sweetheart. Watch your hurry. Well, maybe just half Why a drink more. Why don't you put some records on while I pour. The neighbors might think. Baby, it's bad out there. Say what's in that drink. No cash to be had out there. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight To now. break this spell. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks swell. I ought to say no, 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 sir. I'm defined. Moving closer. At least I'm gonna say that I tried. What the sense of hurting my pride? I really can't stay. Baby, don't hold out. Oh, no, but, but it's, it's cold, cold outside. I really must go. Is no, but baby, it's cold outside. This welcome has been so lucky that you so nice and warm. Look out the window at that storm. My sister will be suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. My brother will be there at the door. Waves upon a tropical shore. My maiden man's mind is vicious. Oh, baby. You're so delicious. But maybe just a little kiss more. Never such a pleasure oh, before. Oh, I've got to go home. You freeze to the bone. Hey, out there. land me your coat. It's up to your knees out there. You've really been great. I'm thrilled when you touch but my But don't you see? How can you do this thing to me? Get back to me. Talk tomorrow Making my life long At least it will be plenty implied You got it Hold your head high I really can stay Get over that hole out But Baby, oh, it's, it's cold, cold. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes, good night. I didn't even realize it was this last show before Christmas. I rather played nothing but Christmas music. I just didn't even dawn on me. Christmas is just kind of iffy for me sometimes, but it's good today. Thank you. It's good to be the king. You guys rock. Can't thank you guys enough for coming by. Really yeah, is cool. and it's a great. It's going to be a great Christmas because I've got all you guys in it. You guys are amazing. And Randy, I've got my Randy at Christmas, so that is cool. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. Now, if you were just here, I'd give you your present. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for me, baby. Just make sure it's not moldy when I get it. I put a ribbon around it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be here Friday and Saturday, just like always. Might even do a Christmas Day show. Just put some Christmas music on and play it for a half hour. I or think so. we should. We might. We'll see. It'd be nice to do an odd show once in a while. Don't do them like we used to. I kind of miss doing the mornings. That was great, but just can't do it anymore. 
Well, we are gone like a cool breeze. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. Again, Merry Christmas from all of us here at the yes. RTM Radio Network. All you outside listeners, too, Merry Christmas to you guys. Thanks for tuning us in. Spread the word. Share the page. Shawnee, Danny, Danny's uh, in the same town as me. He's in Derby, too. Derby Dan. He grew up in the same little place as me. And then uh, Not to be confused he lives in a different Deborah place Dan. as me now. But we grew up like, in the same... We, we both grew up in Simpins. That's it. Well, we're ready to go. Time's just about out. You guys take care. We love you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Say goodnight, Donna. Good night, Donna. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.